What's up, all my dorks, nerds, geeks, and gamers? It's your host Ghost here, and you're watching a brand new episode of Dorkston Movie Minute. Uh, today we're going to we are going to continue on with our Loki uh, episodes two and three reviews. Uh, we're going to get through this series one way or another. Uh, we already started with episode one, so we're going to continue on uh, with or without Nike here. Unfortunately, I wish he was here, but uh, he has not uh, came back to film stuff, so it's just me, unfortunately. Uh, so we're going to continue on with uh, Loki episode two, entitled The Variant. Uh, with this episode, we get a little bit of uh, more uh, character building with Mobius and Loki, their friendship building, um, with them trying to figure out where Sylvie is. They don't know her name is Sylvie yet. Uh, they just call this Loki the variant. Uh, so they're looking through all these different time periods. They can't find them. Loki and Mobius are still getting on each other's nerves. Uh, Mobius has this little bit of distrust for the director of the TVA, um, which is rightfully so because he feels like she's not telling the whole truth with him, uh, which she's not. We find out later. Uh, but this episode focuses heavily on Sylvie. Uh, we go to this um, Roxxon Mart, kind of like a Walmart of the Marvel Universe, uh, where Sylvie has taken over this department store, uh, and she can actually possess people, which is a brand new uh, kind of Loki power we haven't seen yet in the MCU. So she does possess these different people, but it's, it's a weird kind of possession because as she's possessing them, she's actually awakening them and not really possession. It's more like... Um, taking control off these people so they can make their own decisions, uh, opening up uh, kind of self-worth and self-righteousness uh, and how they can do their own sort of uh, things with their own life and then the TVA kind of doesn't like that so they try to shut them down. Um, at the same time, uh, this episode we get um, the reveal that there are three Time Lords um, and that uh, the director does know where they're at. They are real. They are real beings that can be found. Uh, but. Do we ever see them? Maybe later on in the series we might get to that. Uh, but for now we don't hear anything more about the Time Lords. We just know there are three of them and they're out there somewhere. Uh, at the same time we're at the dis <clears throat> this department store where Sylvie is like possessing people. Uh, but before we get there we actually find out that Loki discovers that apocalypses are the big key to this mystery. Because um, if she can hide an apocalypse and then the apocalypse happens, she can tell anyone anything and it doesn't matter because that timeline gets erased to begin with. Uh, which is perfect logic, in my opinion, for comic book uh, shenanigans. Uh, so it works for me 100%, and it, it works as a character level and a plot point to get us to where we need to be in this department store, uh, where Loki is. Loki and Sylvie are basically facing off. She's possessing all these people, beating Loki up with them. Um, he discovers it's Sylvie. He finally gets to meet her. She opens up this portal, and you realize that she's placed all these time bombs around the um, department store. They all go off at the same time. Loki runs away, and then it cuts to the very ending scene of the sacred timeline branching off into all these different realities. Definitely setting up uh, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness and or Loki Season 2. Maybe we'll get to see Loki and Sylvie go on these timelines and clean these up. Because uh, we know it's going to be Loki. Uh, Loki will be back for Season 2, so how it's going to tie into that, we'll have to see, or if it's a bigger part of the MCU. All in all, great episode, great cliffhanger ending. Uh, I give this one a 9 out of 10 just for that cliffhanger ending. Uh, this fits perfectly well in the MCU, and it gets you hyped up for what comes next, not only movies, but show-wise as well. So that was episode 2 of Loki, the variant. Moving on to episode 3. Uh, this is called Lamentus. Uh, this is Loki and Sylvie as they go through this portal. They are now on an apocalypse planet that is about to be hit by an asteroid or a moon, and it's going to be destroyed within 24 hours' time. Uh, so it's about Loki and Sylvie. This is kind of a bonding episode for them. Uh, they both get drunk, they both have some good times, uh, they both have shenanigans with the outsiders of this world where they're kind of interacting with it and trying to get to this uh, arc, they call it. Uh, you have to get to the arc before the, the world's destroyed or else you're stuck there and it's going to be destroyed anyway. Uh, so yeah, they're breaking their way to the arc, a uh, bunch of shenanigans ensue. This is a smaller episode, a little bit less memorable. Uh, there is some good lines with Tom Hiddleston as Loki again and Sylvie, uh, great actress who plays her as well um, but they play off each other really well and this is kind of the budding episode of their romantic relationship uh, but this episode ends on a cliffhanger they do end up getting to the arc the arc ends up getting destroyed right in front of their eyes um, and it kind of ends there you don't know if they're going to get off the planet or not uh, we assume they are because it is a six episode series and we're only on episode four uh, or episode three i mean uh, so hopefully they do get off the planet. Uh, the arc does get destroyed there at the end. Once again, kind of a smaller episode, but more of a character-driven episode, more of an emotional-filled episode between Loki and Sylvie. Uh, so yeah, I don't, I don't knock it down at all. I thought it was still a pretty enjoyable episode, uh, but not, not anything exciting action-wise, not anything funny comedic-wise. 
Uh, nothing that really stood out in this episode compared to the other episodes. Uh, so yeah, I give Lamentus a 6 out of 10 uh, compared to the 9 out of 10 of the episode 2, uh, the variant. So that was my two uh, scores on Loki's episodes 2 and 3. Let me know down below what you guys think of Loki episodes 2 and 3. And look forward to episodes uh, 4 and 5 and 6 on Dorkston Movie Minute. And until next time, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Leave your comments down below. And uh, until next time, I'll be right here. I've been your host, Ghost. Adios.